Hello everyone, I am Dr. Vandana Jain from Advanced Eye Hospital located in Navi Mumbai, India. We get to see a lot of patients with keratoconus and most of these patients are young. And sometimes it's trouble to, troublesome to see how worried they are about their diseases and how many questions they have. So I want to answer some of these questions today. Keratoconus is a disease of cornea. Now cornea is the outer transparent part of the eye. In this disease, cornea tends to become very thin and it starts bulging out in an irregular fashion. Now what that does is it causes the irregularity of numbers and numbers progressively increase, severely affecting the vision. Most of the time patients get to know that they have a problem by two, three things. One is that their number progressively changes. Secondly, in spite of the glasses, the clarity of the vision is not there. So some patients may see shadow around the main image. Some patients may complain of some floating letters when they start working on the computer. And some patients may just, just generally complain that the quality of vision is not very good. So this is what actually leads them to suspect that something is probably wrong with their eye when they come for a checkup. So keratoconus is the diagnosis which is done clinically with the help of clinical evaluation and certain tests. In clinical evaluation, we do a test called retinoscopy where we can detect that something is wrong with the cornea on the basis of the reflexes that we see. And then from our slit lamp evaluation, we can actually see some changes in the corneal structure. And then we confirm that the patient has keratoconus or not by doing a test called corneal topography, which is a map of the cornea. It maps the power of the cornea and it shows those areas where cornea actually has a different power compared to the other areas of the cornea. So by these three things, we are able to diagnose whether the patient has a keratoconus or not. The treatment of keratoconus is dependent on whether the disease is progressive or not. If patient has a progressive disease, which we get to know from the frequent change in number of glasses or changes in corneal topographic parameters. If the disease is progressive, our first aim is to reduce and to basically stall the progression of the disease. For that, there is a procedure called collagen cross-linking. However, if the patient already has a stable disease, then the aim is for that how do we give a better vision to the patient. And for better vision to the patient, there are multiple things that can be done, right from giving contact lenses, which are specialized contact lenses like Roske contact lenses, RGP and scleral contact lenses. If suppose somebody does not want to wear contact lenses or is, not, is intolerant to contact lenses, then we have surgical treatments that are available. Again, the choice of the treatment will be dependent from case to case evaluation basis. Um, different things, for example, intracorneal ring segments, the phacic intraocular lenses, topography guided PRK. And sometimes we combine these procedures. For example, collagen cross-linking sometimes is combined with intracorneal ring segments. And sometimes it's combined with topography guided, topo guided PRK. Collagen cross-linking is a procedure in which called patient's cornea is exposed to a specialized riboflavin solution and then further exposed to calibrated UVA light which comes out of special machine. Now the aim of this treatment is to induce formation of cross-links between the collagen fibers which make the cornea. When these cross-links form in these collagen fibers, cornea becomes more rigid and it stops to bulge out any further. In fact, in some cases, we actually notice that cornea actually flattens a little bit after this treatment. Follow-up in keratoconus patients is dependent on what kind of procedure that has been done. But overall, uh, right after any kind of surgical procedures, there are three to four follow-ups that are required over the first few months. And then, depending on the stage of the disease and depending on what modality of treatment we are further planning, then the follow-ups can be either bi-yearly or could be yearly follow-ups just to make sure that everything is stable and that patient does not require anything further. The aim is that patients should be contended with the vision that they are getting and secondly, that there is no further complication or progression of the disease. I hope that I have been able to answer some of the questions related to keratoconus. If you still have any more queries, you can contact us at contact us at advanceddiehospital.com or you can call us 
at 022-6731-3636. Thank you.